Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah. Screenshake will, without a doubt, add an extra layer of life to your creation. It gives the feeling that the player's actions have a real impact on the world. It will juice up explosions, render hits more satisfying, and yeah, just make your game, especially an action-oriented one, more fun and interesting to play. And so in today's video, I'll give you a look at how to add Screenshake to your own game, without code, but by simply using the animation and animator windows inside of Unity. True enough, we will have to write two lines of code to get our screen shake animation playing at the right time, but that doesn't really count. So I have this little game set up with a player that can shoot squishy monsters coming from the right. These monsters explode when shot, but what this really misses is some screen shake. So let me grab my main camera Head over to the animation window and hit create new animation. I'll call this first one idle and with the record mode set on, I'll make sure my camera is at its default position. This way when we make our second animation, the screen shake one, we'll be able to then smoothly transition back to this default position. And so talking about a shake animation, let's make one. Now of course, the amount of shake you want depends on your game. I feel as if just a tiny bit is enough for regular actions, like shooting and killing enemies. Too much and your player may feel nauseous. So with the record mode set on, once again, I'll move my camera a tiny bit to the left after one or two milliseconds, and then two milliseconds after that, recenter it. At six milliseconds, I'll get my camera shifting ever so slightly to the right, and then recenter it. And there we go, our shake animation is complete. Now again, you can definitely go ahead and play around with this, perhaps getting the camera to shake for a while longer, or make the shake more prominent by shifting the camera more to the left, right, up or down. So really have fun, test what you feel works best for your game, and once you're satisfied, head over to the animator window and create a new trigger condition, I'll just call shape. Then make a transition going from idle to that shake animation. Grabbing the transition arrow, add the shake condition. Uncheck exit time and zero out transition duration. Lastly, I'll make a second transition, this one going from shake to idle. Here, I'll set exit time equal to one and transition duration equal to zero. I'll also uncheck the loop box for the shake animation. For lots more on animation transitions, check out this video on the topic. I'll now create a new C Sharp script called Shake and drag and drop that onto an empty game object. Inside it, I'll create a public variable of type animator called camAnim and then make a public function called camShake. Inside it, I'll simply play my shake animation. All I now need to do is call this function from some other script to get my screen shaking. For example, let's say I wanted the screen to shake whenever a projectile destroys an enemy. I would simply need to head into my projectile script, which for now handles the bullet's movement and enemy destruction, and create a private variable of type shake called shake. In my start function, I'll then set shake equal to the game object with a tag called screen shake and more precisely the shake component attached to that game object. Without further ado I'll head back into Unity and create a new tag called screen shake. Adding it to my empty game object with a shake script attached to it as well as drag and drop the camera inside the cam anim empty slot. Now that that's done, I can simply type shake.camshake inside of my onTriggerEnter 2D function, which I remind you is called whenever the projectile collides with something. So I'll now hit play to test this out. And whenever my projectile collides with an enemy, the screen will shake. Awesome. One thing to note, however, is that if we had the camera following the player around the scene and we played this shake animation, then we would get this annoying situation where the camera would snap to its shake animation positions. To avoid this from happening, make an empty game object called camfollow, place it right over your camera, and then parent your camera to that newly made object. Once that's done, you'll simply need to add your camera follow script to that empty game object and things will work smoothly. 
Lastly, you may want some randomness in your camera screen shake. All you would need to do is create several shake animations, make several trigger conditions inside of the animator, and use one for each shake animation. And then inside the shake script, create an int variable called rand, and set that equal to a random number between zero and the amount of shake animations you have, and then you can make a series of if statements checking what rand is equal to, and play a different shake animation thanks to your various trigger conditions, depending on rand's value. And now we have some random shaky motions, which makes the game feel all the more awesome and satisfying to explore. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and were able to follow along. Hitting the like and subscribe buttons will be so appreciated and and encouraging. Also consider supporting me via Patreon like these top supporters. Time is a precious resource, much of it would have to be spent on work and creations other than the channel. So if you find this regular content helpful and want to keep it up, become a patron, help the community and get some cool humble rewards in exchange. Okay, thanks so much for watching, stay tuned, cheers! <laughs>